Following the party's big defeat in the just-concluded GE14, MCA President Dato Sri Leo Tiong Lai said he will not seek re-election in the coming party polls and pledged to continue to transform, stabilise and strengthen the party. And we accept our defeat. The Central Committee unanimously agree that it is necessary for us to continue to strengthen the party transformations on top to the grassroots. So we have to deep, deepen our transformation as you know that uh, this is, is crucial so that to ensure the party continue to be strong. Uh, I would like to announce here that I will not seek re-election as MCA president in the coming party election so that uh, at the same time I have to ensure during this period of time I have to ensure the stability and the unity of the party so that to take uh, this party uh, to the party elections and once the new uh, leadership is formed so we hope that we can have a stronger party to face the future challenges. In his first press conference since May 9, after chairing a central committee meeting at the party headquarters, Liao said MCA will hold brainstorming and post-mortem sessions with the grassroots on the party's future direction, including its position in Barisan National. Liao also extended his congratulations to Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad. I would like to represent MCA to congratulate Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad on being sworn in as the seven uh, Prime Ministers of Malaysia and for being able to form a new government thereafter. The Rayat have made their decision during the last general election, so MCA fully support and respect, <coughs> uh, and that <coughs> hopes the newly made uh, government uh, will fulfill responsibility uh, as they have promised. The MCA president advised party members not to give up as defeat is only temporary and urge them to play the role of opposition. On the factors that led to Barisan's big defeat, Liao listed the goods and services tax, or GST, cost of living, MCA's strong stance against RUU 355 and three-cornered fights as some of the reasons. Ye 这个反对党的这种所谓的这个手段，是把我们支持马华候选人等于支持呃南极跟罗斯曼，那这样的一个言论呢，呃，对我们杀伤也非常大。MCA won only one parliamentary seat and two state seats out of the 39 parliamentary and 90 state seats it contested under the Barisan ticket, a further decline from GE13's seven parliamentary and 11 state seats. Deputy Party President Tato Sri Dr. Wika Seong defended the Ayehitam parliamentary seat to become its MP for a fourth term. 
MCA also won the Titi Tinggi state seat in Perlis and the Cheka state seat in Pahang in GE14. Liao, who served as Pentong MP since 1999, failed to defend his seat but said he will still go back if and when needed. The MCA president also pledged to continue to promote China's Belt and Road Initiative while hoping that the new government would treasure the Malaysia-China ties. The 69-year-old MCA is due to start its party elections six months from now.